Hey everybody, it's Marie from Nano Master. I'm going to talk about my four embarrassing and regrettable moments that is outside the internet. All right, we're going to go to middle school years. As a kid, when I was very little, my speech wasn't no good, and I don't really speak much. I have autism, and I don't really know how to speak to anybody, and I end up being all by myself. I still have that spectrum, but it's just not as like bad as the previous years. And I was the most awkward, the most embarrassing, and hard-headed child. Yeah, I was, I was very bad at the time, and aggressive. Some of my work is good, like I do some good grades, but the problem is my behavior. Like I end up acting not many times, but it can be times this is not my fault, it's the teachers. I am that one person, that one woman that nobody likes. Yeah, people don't really like me in school. Like I was like one of the most hated ones, but and I only end up having some few friends. I always wish that I was popular and I just wanted to fit in and have more friends, but and I was like, nope. It was too good to be true. I ended up having some flip-flop personality people. Flip-flops personalities are people like, they be nice and mean sometimes, but to me, they're mostly mean. Like, they don't really like you. And that really sucks. And I used to get in fights. And I never had the chance to be on the safety group with safety belts like I've always wanted but I end up not getting it because you know I always end up getting hurt and getting into fights now we're going to the number one story around middle school I don't know what year is this or I don't know what grade I am I was probably sixth or seventh grade I was probably in seventh grade at the time after lunchtime all the kids me we went outside for recess and, you know, just do a, just have some fun outside there. Everything went fine until that one woman, she had her dog with her. And she, I think it was she's saying hi to the people and the dog was just running. And once that dog ran towards me, I ran and screamed like, oh, this dog is about to kill me. And I just jumped. And when the dog falls to my direction, I end up jumping to the left and right. Like, what the heck am I jumping left to right like a frog? So once my teacher saw what I did, of my actions towards that dog, she take away my recess privilege. All because I was afraid of a dog. Like, it's not my fault. How am I supposed to know that dog wasn't even going to attack me? The way it runs, I thought it was going to attack me, but it was probably turns out just want to play with me. I don't know. It's just that I'm not used to a dog running towards me. I normally stood there and a dog just walked to me and sniffed my hand to get to know me. But that dog ran. I forgot what um, breed it was. I, from what I remember, I thought it was a small pit bull. I don't really know. It was white. Yeah, I haven't had recess in a while. I don't even know how long I have. Um, I lost the privilege for that. Probably weeks. I don't really remember. I also don't remember that the kids are even laughing at me. I, was, I was, wasn't I was really focused on them. I didn't really care about the people. All I care is about my life. Protect myself. My life is on the line right now with that dog. It was just a misunderstanding. That's all. And here's another story. It's the second one. I was in a room with my parents and my brothers are playing Left 4 Dead. It was nighttime. They actually play Left 4 Dead 2 on Xbox One. And what happened was my brothers, they was talking to our cousins on Discord. And um, you know what the dumbest thing I said? It was that one girl, which I'm not going to mention their names. I, I'm going to keep them private. I just want to protect their privacy. I didn't say it to her. I just said it about it. They was talking about, do y'all guys play Left 4 Dead? What I said was, um, I'm not sure if she plays the game because she has autism and blah, 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 blah. And everybody went so quiet. My brother said, it seems like everyone's a dummy quiet. And that girl got mad at me because I said something so dreadful. What was I thinking? That makes me look like a hypocrite because I play M-rated games. 
my mind wasn't straight at that time. Good thing I learned it. That story is kind of short. We're going to go to hugging a tree. Yes, I hug trees. I used to hug trees. This was around middle school. <laughs> I hugged the tree because why not? And I hugged the tree and I lift up my leg backwards. And once those people looking at me like, what is she doing? Everybody laughed at me. I was like, why are people laughing at me? I was just giving some kindness to a tree. I don't know how old I was. I was probably like 13 or 14 at the time. <sighs> and wow, people just laughing at me. The next day, we was outside again. It was that girl. I mean, n not the girl that I mentioned on my second embarrassing story. It was another girl, and she's not really my friend. She said, hey, why don't you go hug that tree that you did? And I was like, no. And she just, she just keep, I don't know if she needed to keep convincing me or what. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to embarrass myself because I realized that, that oh, that, that was a bad idea from the start. I don't even remember that if I did it again or not. I probably didn't. So I left it alone. Finding a child. I think it was around June of 2019. One day we was at Walmart. Me, my mother, and my father buy our usuals and all that and there was a kid I saw like he was he was small so I just saw him walking alone like hmm this seems very suspicious why he walking all alone and so I just like shrugged it off because I'm not really sure minutes later it was that woman that'd be saying hey can anyone find my child I've been searching for him her I don't really know the gender everywhere but I can't find that kid so i'm trying to you know i'm trying to be a hero like I'm ha i have to do this so i just like run to somewhere and show to the people that i point at the area so i got the child who was the one who was walking alone so i grab its hand and the child is looking at me like oh no this person's about to do something to me so hostile but it turns out I got the wrong child. It was this man that's been saying, hey, that's my child. And dad just explains about it. And he talks about my disabilities. It was all a misunderstanding. I was frozen at that moment. Wow. It seems like in the future, that kid grows older and start to hate on me for what I've done. After that, we just walked away and we never find the child that the woman was asking for. Uh, it's just one of those times like, you know how the Spider-Man film where uh, Peter Parker as Spider-Man, probably around. No, that's the one in Spider-Man Homecoming where he's trying to do superhero stuff, but he ended up messing things up. That's like that's just like me when I was trying to find a child for the woman. I can't believe I got the wrong child. I don't even know why the, the child that I grabbed was walking all alone and not close to the, to the owner. <sighs> After all that, it's like I would never, ever do this again. Even if it's right or wrong, like, no, I don't want to embarrass myself like that again. Well, I think there's a, one last story. I was in a bus. Yep, I used to be those people that go in the bus because not much transportation. This was in high school. I think in 10th grade. We was in this traffic. I see this lady looking right. I was looking at her. And I look back like, oh, okay. So it's these girls. They got balded paper. And I don't know why we were doing it. They just throw it at the window. And it ended up hitting the lady. Like I look back. It was like, why is this woman looking at me? Like she's shocked. Like her mouth was wide open. She just saw me as like, she's about to beat me up. Like, why would you do that to me? And I was like, what? what? Why is she looking at me like that? I, I was getting so confused. Like, why would she look at me like that all of a sudden? It turns out she thought I throw the paper at her. We didn't, and I didn't say, oh, I didn't do that. That was somebody else. I don't know why I didn't say that. I, I, probably could, I was probably afraid she's going to cuss me out. I don't even know. It turns out it was those two girls just throwing papers at the woman. I didn't. She thought I did it. 
I don't think they were plotting me to get framed. I don't really know. I don't even know why they're doing that in the first place. Like throwing stuff at people and they didn't even do nothing to them. They just doing that for laughs, which is really bad. Because what if they got a gun or any type of weapon, like a bomb, would you do that? Throw stuff at people and then all of a sudden they pull out a gun or a bomb? <sighs> That's a death I don't want. And good thing, I don't even know if that if that woman has a weapon. Good thing she didn't do that to me. Then I wouldn't be living at this time like you're in right now. I would be dead. Yeah, I felt embarrassed about that. <sighs> I guess that's it with this embarrassing and regrettable moment. The fifth one's not regrettable. It's just embarrassing. And uh, let me tell you, I have a lot of embarrassing moments, but I can't tell you because most of them are just um, per too personal. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Um. The story I mentioned, it's Marie from Night of Master, and see you guys next time in a new video.